We've all heard the term first impressions count, but sadly that's not necessarily the case when it comes to affiliates, which is why I'm here today. My name is Nikki Parker. I'm a senior online marketing executive here at Coast Digital. I'm here today to talk to you about five reasons not to, termina to terminate inactive affiliates. So this has come about really because quite often affiliate managers are asked by clients or people internally to clean up their affiliate list, to tidy up non-performing or seemingly non-performing affiliates. So why shouldn't we do that? First of all, they're free. Affiliates that aren't apparently performing or converting to sale are not actually costing you anything. Affiliates are done on a cost per acquisition basis, so you're only paying when they actually convert to sale. Secondly, brand awareness. Affiliates are a form of free brand awareness for you. So whilst they are converting to sale, there's obviously brand awareness there with, with a sale at the end of it, but there's also times when they'll be putting your banners and other promotional material out into the marketplace and getting your brand across to a wider audience than you could ever hope to do yourself. Thirdly, many affiliates could just be starting out. It takes time to build up either a website or a profile, so they'll, many affiliates will start to uh, recruit people onto the program before they're actually ready to go out to the wider public. These people would, have, would appear to be not performing and not producing anything for you, but it's early days and the sooner you get onto their program, you could well be ahead of another competitor of yours getting onto their program. My fourth point is that, pretty much following on from the third one, people that aren't actually appearing to be your, your top performers now could be top performers in the future. We all had to start somewhere. We know that the likes of the Quidcos and the top cashbacks of this world are superstars in the terms of affiliate revenue generators at the moment and they would have no doubt started somewhere as well and soon worked their way up. And finally, and actually quite a key point, is that if you choose to terminate inactive or underperforming or seemingly underperforming affiliates, you could lose them forever. We all know that there are times when you decide, you decide to end a relationship and that actually leaves a lot of bad feeling when the other person doesn't feel that there's a just reason for it. So in the case of affiliates, many affiliates will feel deeply offended by the fact that you've decided to suspend them from your program with no good reason. Sadly, many of them will also choose to uh, vocalise this on affiliate forums. In doing that, your brand and your affiliate program will get very bad press across the affiliate forums and affiliate community. I have had somebody say to me, well, that won't really matter because my customer base won't see that. However, that's not the case because, yes, your customer base won't necessarily see that, but in future, the uh, other affiliates that might have been superstars of the future, may, once researching your affiliate program, may look at that and think, actually, I can see across the forums that this doesn't seem to be a two-way relationship with this brand, so I'm not actually sure that I want to join the brand. So, thank you for listening. I hope that's given you some food for thought. And if you've got any comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thank you very much.